car on the torus. We have a car uh, here in red and uh, it is uh, rolling on the torus, torus represented green. So the torus has uh, two radius, R1 and R2. So R1 is a large medium circle and R2 are those represented uh, like this. So the pose of a car, the pose means the position, but also its orientation, is uh, coded by three angles, x1, so this one, the first, ang uh, first angle x1, the second one is x2, uh, and the, the, for the heading it is x3. So we'll assume here that the speed of the car is always equal to 1. It is not possible to stop or to accelerate. So it's some kind of Dubbin's car, but the Dubbin's car is moving on the torus. Uh, the car, uh, what we can control is the input U corresponds to the rotation rate with respect to the ground. Okay. So for the first question, we have to give the state equation of the system. Here it is the torus. So we have two kinds of uh, specific circles. We have the meridian circles. So the meridian circles is uh, this one, for instance. It is one. But we can see here on the picture a meridian circle. So it represents one. And we have many of them like this. Another one is this one. All the same as the same radius. And the radius is R2. And we also have the parallel circle. So the parallel circle, we can see some of them here. Okay. They have different radius. The one with the large, largest radius is this one. So we do not, uh, it is not the same as the middle circle like this, which corresponds to the circle made by all centers corresponding to uh, meridian circles. It is the centers, all of them are there. So the one with the largest uh, radius, it is uh, this one, or also here, it is this one in this cut. So here it is a parallel, like this, and here a meridian circle. Now for the car, the car is represented here. So we can represent the pose by x1, x2, and x3. So we can see here, at the origin, it is 0. So when we it is 0, 0, 0, it means that we have a 0 heading, this one. And also we have angle 0 and 0 corresponding to, um, to the uh, meridian disk corresponding to the x1 axis in the workspace. So here it is. Each pose for the car, so here let's take this pose for instance, is associated to uh, one meridian circle and one parallel. So this one and this one. Each of them corresponding to one angle. This angle is x2 for this one, okay, x2, and this one corresponds to x1. The trajectory here we go on a straight line and we can see that each parallel, such as this parallel, I can associate a radius R3, which depends on the pose. So we can see here in this cut. So I have R3 here. I have R1, the first radius. The second radius is R2 here. And we can see on this picture that uh, we have R3, which is equal to the square root of x, uh, excuse me, r1 plus r2 cosine x2. So this radius depends on the poles. Now, now I have to write the state equation for this system. So we can the state equation, I recall that it's like this, x.1, x.2, x.3 equal, 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 and here 
I am only allowed to put x1, x2, x3 and the input u. If I have this, I will have a state equation of the form x dot equal f of x and u. And then from this, I will be able to simulate this system either by an Euler method or by a Wunschlichter method or any integration chain. For x dot 1, we can see here that since the speed is equal to zero, from this we can see that uh, I will have cos uh, x3 multiplied by the speed, but the speed is equal to 1. And since um, x1 is coded uh, not in meters but in uh, ra radian, it is an angle, I have here to divide by r3 the radius of this disk. Okay. Now it will be the same for the other one. I will have here uh, the speed, so 1 multiplied by the sine. So here I project like this, and here I project like this, that's why I have the sine. Sine of x3, uh, 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 yes, sine of x3, divided by r2 now, because again it is, r uh, it is an angle and the radius of the circle is r2. Uh, and uh, I have to put a minus here due to the orientation of uh, the, 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 uh, the angle uh, uh, numerotation. Now it remains to write the last one for x dot 3. We can understand that it depends on u, but it will not only depend on u. As we can understand here, the trajectory, if I go straight, then the angle x3 will move also. For x dot 3, if we were in the plane, which is not the case, but if we were in the plane, we'd like to write x dot 3 equal to u. But here it is not the case, and to understand this, I will have a look to, those, to this situation. In this situation, I have the heading here, which is uh, x3 equal to 0 for this one, because I follow a parallel. But we can understand that if I try to go straight, so u equal to 0, then I will not follow this one. To follow this one, I have to turn right. If I do not turn right, I will go like this, and x dot 3, we understand that it is positive. We understand that also the evolution for x dot 3 depends, uh, is uh, eventually proportional to x3, the radius of this disk, of course, but it is also proportional to the sine of uh, x2, because uh, when we are here or here, then this effect will not occur, so this way I will have plus sine of x2, and also I have to multiply, as it was the case here, by the cosine of x3. Question number two, I have to simulate the car uh, with uh, taking for the torus the radius r1 equal to 10, r2 equal to 6 for the small radius, and for a time t between 0 and 100. For the initial state, we take uh, all angles equal to 0, and for the control, we choose u equal to o dot 1. So we, had to, we have also to draw everything. So I will start with the uh, following Python program given here, which use a view 3D lib library. So I fix my uh, two radius. I will draw the axis, so uh, the axis uh, we do not see in this picture yet. And I will draw the car uh, here. Uh, I will want to draw this uh, blue car here. Assume now that I want to draw a car like this one. So in my representation, I have uh, the x, y, and the for the vertical, and I will draw with respect to this word frame. So as I have seen before, R3, which is given here, will correspond to the x-axis. 
So I will build this vector. I will call it V. And this vector V uh, has no Y, but only a component with respect to X and Z. So V is equal to R3 given here, 0. And uh, here I will have R2, diameter of this, R2 multiplied by the sine of minus x2. So if I translate with respect to this, my car will be here, but not with the right orientation first. So this is my program I propose. Given here, I will draw the pose so I will see later for x1, x2, but only with respect to x2 this angle. So uh, I, I took uh, p divided by 4 here, r3 is built here, my vector v is here, and the orientation is not yet the right one, but I translate by v. This is a program, I run it, I open here, and I can see here the car, but not with the right or orientation. To draw uh, with the right orientation, I will have to, uh, to rotate uh, the, the car. For this, I build R1, which is a rotation with respect to Z z, so x and y, and it is given by this expression. So recall that R1 is the exponential matrix of x1 multiplied by 0, 0, 1 for z, and it is the adjoint. So I denote like this, and for this I use the Rodriguez formula. This why I can write this. I do the same for the rotation with respect to y with an angle x2. We call that x1, x2, x3 correspond to the pose given here, where I want to draw the car. So this was already given, and for this I will first rotate to put at the zero point the car from the initial drawing. Then I will use here R1, R2, R3 to rotate with respect to x1, x2, and x3. First, with respect to, to R3, then R2, then R, R1. And I get the right orientation, which is used here. This one is just to draw uh, the car uh, bigger or, or smaller. And this one is just to say that I want to rotate the vector V with an angle corresponding to uh, X1. Okay. I will draw the pose with respect to 0, but also with respect to X1, X2, X3, given here. This is a program. I run it to generate my file car.obj. Then I go here. I run it. And I get here the car at position 0. And here the car at the position, at the pose I wanted to represent. So now from this I have everything to draw and I will now be able to draw the trajectory and to simulate the system. For the simulation I propose the following program. I fix the number of iteration. I fix here the sampling time, the initial state here, and I draw the axis, I draw the torus and I enter in my loop. So here is 40. Um, here it's use the input uh, which asks me to turn uh, left. Here it is a state equation I have established on the first question. Recall that they are given here, where R3 is given by this. So R3 is computed here. I use an Euler formula. So an Euler formula tells me that uh, x the state at time t plus dt is equal to the time as t plus dt 
multiplied by the evolution f of x and u. And f of x and u is given by this. This is why here I have this for this, this, and this. And every 20 iterations, I will draw the pose to avoid overlapping between all cars. So I'm here, run the file, generate uh, the path, I open the path, and I get this figure with the initial position. I turn left, and then I follow this trajectory. So I will always turn left a little. Okay. So we can understand that the behavior is not always predictable, but it is consistent with the intuition we could have with a car moving on such a torus.